So the WTA Finals are only a week away. We have a big announcement with Mukova pulling out of the WTA Finals, which is huge because she is, of course, the Grand Slam finalist of the French Open and has been in really, really good form this year. Let's go have a look at why she's pulled out, but also have a look at what that means for the replacement coming in. So this is what she has to say over on Instagram. I'm heartbroken to announce that I will miss my first WTA finals in Cancun. Together with the team and doctors, we tried everything till the last moments to resolve my wrist injury. Fortunately, the time needed for recovery is longer than we would have hoped. And therefore, I had to make this unpleasant decision. I greatly appreciate the support of all the fans. I will do my best to be back in 2024 and get another chance to be part of the WTA finals. So jumping over to the rankings now and having a look at what that means. So with Mukaba out of the WTA Finals, that means Zachary gets promoted into the WTA Finals, and it's funny because she wasn't actually in China for the WTA Elite Trophy, which she would have been the number one seed. So you wonder if she might have known ahead of time that Mukova might pull out and went there as an alternate, so Sakura will jump in to the WTA Finals in Mukova's place. So there it is, Mukova not playing the WTA Finals, Sakura coming in as her replacement, and it's such a shame because Mukova's played some of the best matches of the year against some of those top players. Of course, those Sabalenka epics that she's played. She's also pushed Fiontech in that French Open final. Really a shame that she's not going to be there, but Zachary, who just won in Guadalajara, she is going to be in the WTA Finals. And she's actually been pretty good this year overall. So it's going to be really fun to see Zachary get another chance to be in the WTA Finals. But let me know down in the comments below. Who's going to win the WTA Finals? If Mukova might have been your dark horse, who is going to be your new pick for the WTA Finals? I still think Rabakin is going to thrive in this environment, but... Who knows? Maybe Sabalenka, maybe Goff, maybe Sviantek, one of the favorites. Maybe Sakri could do some damage. Remember last year, she made it to the semifinals, but no Mukova in this one. Sakri coming in as a replacement last moment.